the blueprint for the EOSS how to balloon launch. So this is a basic field mill that me and a friend have been working on. So uh, at the bottom we have a stationary plate that isn't grounded and then right above that we have a rotating plate that is connected to a case fan from a computer and this and the spinning plate is grounded by this little brush here that comes to this wire and then this plate here is our sensory plate which goes in on top. We're not measuring much when we try to add a balloon. Just uh, noise mainly. Yeah. Here is the high altitude balloon payload. Getting ready for final launch this Saturday. As you can see here is um, the two meter dipole for the APRS beacon which is the device that transmits the location and temperature and pressure via ham radio frequencies uh, using the APRS system. It's a 300 milliwatt transmitter, the track soar. Inside we will host the battery packs, the data logger, and the switches. Uh, the data logger is on that right left, bottom right side. You can see a little SD card slot, which I'll uh, logs all of the data for the experiment on the top of this can. Uh, on top of here is going to be a field mill, which is a device to measure electrostatic fields or the DC electric field at high altitudes. Here's the payload. Um, there's very little spin, if any. And uh, we have a field mill on top, held by a thin copper string. Here is the final prototype for the launch tomorrow. And uh, our data logger is feeding directly into a processing sketch on the computer with the field mill almost entirely assembled. As you see, if I put a jacket near it, we really start picking up the voltages. As the jacket approaches. So hopefully it works tomorrow. We'll have this plus the camera. And I uh, had to redo our prototype. Up bright and early. <laughs> With your hot dog and gelato breakfast. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's now about 4.20 a.m. And as you can see, there's fog. It's a foggy morning. Me and Skylar are piling into the car. That's Skyler there, he's working on APRS, doing the last touch-ups. We've done the countdown for all of our equipment, we have our batteries, our SD cards and our payload, so we're ready to go. It's now almost 5 o'clock and we're still driving up towards Eaton, Colorado, and it is still really foggy. And for all you guys who don't know what Colorado weather is like, this is very unusual. Here's our payload have an APRS transmitter um, to beacon the location with the GPS and a field mill which measures the um, static electricity or the voltage um, DC up at high altitudes what's this rotating uh, shutter does so it's our payload great Plus and would you, and, and you come in weight, weight wise about 500 grams total with the camera that here cool and Walters, 
So on a scale of one to dank, how would you rate our rate our payload? Fifty danks. Fifty danks. Fifty danks. Uh, can you give a, a dank thumbs up of approval? Woo! Dank to the dank. This is the official chase vehicle of the DSA Radio Club. A lot of these antennas aren't connected. Yeah, I just did the main one and then. And here we are at the balloon launch area. We've just christened our payload. And here is the gorgeous Angel holding the machine of dank. Guys, aim it to make sure it hits. Keep going, Banshee. If the balloon starts blowing, open hands. No punches. I know we put so many hours into this. Skyler, just be careful with that string. We're here at the field right now. I don't know if you can see everyone, but there's the balloon. There's Skyler right over there. Well, the problem uh, this is, is the DSA the radio station. Uh, we just wow. finally tracked down the whole balloon. Oh, well, there it is. There it is. Wow. You guys are running. Last time I turned around, you guys haven't even left the gate. Yet.
Deus, 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 Look, our payload has landed. It still works. <laughs> Look at the antenna. <laughs> the antenna's broken off, but you know what? That doesn't matter. <laughs>